Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is second lecture of Geometric Algorithm series. In this lecture, we'll see how you can find out whether the two given line segments actually intersect or not. So the problem statement is simple. You are given two line segments, L1 and L2. L1 represented by points and points A1, B1 and L2 represented by points A2, B2 in 2D uh, in two dimensional space. So find out whether two line segments actually intersect or not. So uh, let's go uh, cases by case. Okay. So first case is of course the most easiest one when they actually form a cross, right? And the second case is where uh, three points are actually collinear, right? So this and this. So to take care of these two cases, there is one thing that you can do. Uh, take any line, take one line, and then find out the orientation of endpoints of other line. So Take this line and find out orienta uh, orientation of P P1 and Q1. So P1 is counterclockwise, P2 is clockwise with respect to this line. Okay, we already have seen how to find out orientation uh, of three points, right? In the previous lecture, lecture one. So here you would find out that P2, Q2, P1 is actually counterclockwise, P2, Q2, and uh, sorry, P, P2, Q2 and P1 is counterclockwise, P2, Q2 and Q1 is clockwise. So orientation of these two points are different. So we are good. Now take the other line and find out orientation of the endpoints of the first line, right? So P1, Q1, Q2 is counterclockwise and P1, Q1, P2 is actually clockwise. So orientation of all of them should be different. I mean, uh, when you take this line, orientation of these two points should be different. When you take this line, orientation of these two points should be different. And for both of these lines, this condition must hold, right? Uh, you can think uh, if the orient, for example, taking this line, orientation of these two points were same. For example, uh, they both were uh, P1, Q1, they both were clockwise. So P2 will be here and P1 will also be here in this region right and that would mean they are not actually crossing same goes for this if you apply the same condition take this and find out orientation of these two points you would see that orientation of these two points are different how this is collinear with these two and this is clockwise now take this line and find out orientation of that too so uh, orientation of both the points must be different each time when evaluated right orientation of these two must be different and orientation of these two must be different and hence this way you can say that uh, the lines are actually intersecting this is uh, this these were case one and two now what about case three uh, there is a third case where it is possible that all the four points are actually part of the same line or all of the four points are actually collinear so you can see all of the four four points are actually collinear so uh, checking whether all of the four points are actually collinear or not is a valid test the answer is actually no because even though all the four points are collinear for example this they may not intersect to check that first find out whether all the first first test what you have to do first test you have to do this find out orientation of each point each end point and see that they are different okay first test second this to to do this check all of the four points whether they are collinear or not if they are collinear then go for projection now since we know that uh, there is invalid case as well even if they are collinear so we need to go and check their projections so you see uh, for this line projection of this line on the x-axis is from x1 to x2 right this region and for this line it is from x3 to uh, x3 to x4 if their projection does not collide or does not intersect then they are not intersecting this test we only need to do after we have checked successfully that all the four points are actually collinear okay so this is confirmation test after we have find out that all the four points are uh, collinear so what we have to do we have to find out whether the x intersection y intersection uh, uh, intersect or not for here we can clearly see that x intersection does not collide for example if you evaluate the uh, uh sorry x projection x axis projection of both the lines they are actually intersecting right uh, for this line it is starting from here to here and for this line it is starting from here so they are clearly intersecting right so first check whether uh, they are all collinear if they are collinear to confirm whether they are intersecting or not check their x and y 
uh, projections if they are intersecting their x and y projection are intersecting hence they are actually intersecting okay so this way how this is how you find the whether two given line segments are actually intersecting or not so if you think about the implementation in the next lecture let's solve a problem and uh, implement the algorithm there okay so this way we'll be able to test our code and also we'll be implementing how this can be implemented we'll see how this can be implemented so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching if you have any suggestion or query you can post it down in the comment section so till the next video drops keep coding thank you